Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life. Today we are upcycling some junk, some thrift store finds, some stuff that I've had laying around for forever that I wanna to put together, all kinds of inspiration. We've got lots of work. Let's get upcycling. Let's kick off this upcycling video with a really simple DIY. This votive was from the thrift store and it was from a previous project that I've done. And instead of letting it go to waste, I decided to repurpose it using a little piece of spindle that had already been painted. The spindle's color was actually really nice, so I just sanded it down a bit to give it more of a distressed look. Then I got out my trusty E6000 glue. This is an adhesive that works wonders on all sorts of DIY projects. I applied it to the bottom of the spindle, turned the votive upside down, and make sure that that spindle is in the center of the candle holder, set it aside, let it dry. It's that simple. Now this upcycled votive and spindle is a perfect addition to any corner of your home decor. It creates a really nice light when you put a votive in it, and these also make great gifts, so don't hesitate on spreading that upcycling love. Here's another quick and easy upcycling project that just required a little bit of creativity and some discarded items. I came across an old coffee canister that had seen better days. It was rusty and worn. However, I saw the potential in its unique appearance and decided to turn it into a planter. To add a little something extra, I paired it with a small metal container that I found at the thrift store and used some E6000 glue again to secure it to the two pieces. With just a little bit of effort, I transformed which was once destined for the dump into a charming new addition to any home decor. A lovely plant nestled inside this repurposed coffee canister would make a perfect addition to a coffee bar or a kitchen. Remember, upcycling doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes it can be easy as breathing new life into forgotten treasures. The graphics on this old coffee canister are so beautiful and it's rare to come across such unique designs these days. So I felt so fortunate to be able to find this, salvage it and bring it back to life and incorporate it into my home decor. Spice racks are a common find at the thrift store, but I'm excited to show you how I'm gonna upcycle mine and incorporate it into my craft room. Although the original finish on the spice rack was outdated, a quick fix with a scuff pad, which I've linked in the description below, to lightly sand the surface works perfect. This not only revealed a more modern looking color of wood, I just think that it also looks nicer than that dated orange stain. After wiping it down, I sealed it up with my engine enamel. This is really durable and will allow you to wipe it down or dust it after it's finished. And then I filled it up with a collection of my craft paints. Now I can easily see and access my paints. They're beautifully displayed in my craft room. And the spice bottles that were originally in the rack are the same size as these craft paint bottles. I have a bit of a mirror obsession. I just can't resist collecting them, but I love finding ways to upcycle them and give them a new life. This mirror caught my eye. It's a gold frame plastic one, but I saw potential in turning it into a rustic patina looking frame with just a little bit of acrylic and chalk paint and my trusty stencil brush. I used homemade black chalk paint first as the base just lightly dry brushing all over that mirror. It's important to make sure to get into all those little nooks and crannies for that authentic patina effect. After setting it aside and letting it dry, I then went back in and got my acrylic paint and used a turquoise color. I'm aiming to achieve an old rusted metal look for this project and I've got a trick up my sleeve that's going to give it the perfect patina effect by layering that turquoise on top of the black with a light hand I'm dry brushing that turquoise over the frame allowing the gold and the black to peek through and it gives it a realistic weathered effect. When it's all finished it's going to be hard to believe that this started out as a cheap plastic frame and I absolutely love this transformation. I 
I stumbled upon a real gem at the thrift store, a beautiful serving tray with a rattan border, but this dated stencil in the middle of it was not doing it any favors. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and revamp it completely. Firstly, I applied some paint stripper over the stencil in a well-ventilated area with my uh, respirator mask on. And since the stencil seemed to be paint-based from probably the 70s or 80s, I was hopeful that that stripper would work its magic, and it did. After letting it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes, I scraped away at it, and the stencil started to come off. I repeated this process with a second coat of that paint stripper to ensure that I had every little bit of that stencil removed. After removing the label and that varnish completely, I decided to give it a really good wash with some soapy water, set it aside, and let it dry thoroughly. Once it was dry, I went back in with a 120 grit piece of sanding paper on my sander to remove any leftover little bits of varnish and stencil that might not have come off with that paint remover. With the surface now smooth and ready, I mixed up some instant coffee with hot water and applied it on the tray using a rag. This is a really great DIY stain. The result was perfect. It was a perfect match to the color of the rest of the tray. Once the coffee stain had completely dried, I sealed it up with some polyacrylic sealer and we transformed this old dated thrift store tray into a stylish modern piece. It'll be perfect for serving drinks up on the patio this summer, or I can just display it on my table as a centerpiece. Thanks for tuning in to today's upcycling projects, and I'd love to hear which one caught your eye, so please let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating these pieces, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to check out the next two videos that I have in store for you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one.